Hi my blood kids! Once again, this is Isabella and I come here for Thanksful Thursday with another lesson, with another teaching and I hope you guys have been liking the lessons. Have you guys been liking the lessons? Yes? No? You guys have? That's good. So, a reminder, I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are washing your hands. I'm home, I'm recording from home, so I hope you're home. I hope you're not going out every day, but you're staying in your house, you're staying safe, you're staying encouraged, you're staying happy, you're staying joyful. Don't be bored. If you're bored, look for things to do. Speak to God, play games, watch movies, study. Don't forget to study. I don't like studying, but we all have to study. So just a reminder before we start our lesson, before we do anything, I just wanted to check how you guys were doing. I hope all of you guys are doing great. We all miss you, Way of Life kids. We all wish to be with you and we hope to reunite soon. So with that being said, let's go on to our lesson. But before we go on to our lesson, let's go over our memory verse again, which is on... Psalms 34, 17. So, Psalm 34, 17 says this. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. Let's say it one more time. One more time. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. If you guys did it with me, very good job. If you guys are still having trouble memorizing it, I hope you guys can get it. I hope you guys can keep on practicing. If it's easier for you to do with the gestures, do it. If it's not, if it's a little bit harder to do three things at a time, I encourage you, do it the way it's easiest for you, but make sure to memorize it because we're gonna test you on Scripture Saturday. But before we go into our lesson, let's stretch and let's pray. So I'm gonna pray and then you say it after me because I remind you again, I don't have anyone. So you're my someone. You're the one who's repeating after me. So I'm gonna pray, you repeat after me, okay? Let's close our eyes and let's say, God, thank you for this day. Thank you because today, you're gonna teach us about thankfulness. Help us be thankful each day of our lives for the good, for what we have, and for what we don't have. Help us be thankful in every occasion and encourage others to be thankful. In your name, I pray, amen. Clap, 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 yay. So, Today we're actually gonna use the same verse or the same scripture we talked about yesterday. So we've been learning about Gideon, a mighty man of God, a warrior of God, who was chosen by God. And Gideon many times was scared, as I told you guys. Many times he was, you know, he, he doubted. He never disobeyed to what God told him to do. Even though he was scared, even though he was nervous, he never disobeyed. And, and Gideon had so many opportunities where he could have just given up, where he could have just thrown the towel, but he never did it. So today we're going to learn how Gideon worshipped. So today we're going to learn about how Gideon was thankful. He could have easily, you know, been ungrateful for so many things that happened in his life. And I'm going to remind you the things that maybe he should have said, uh, you know, God, I don't think this is right. But he decided to be grateful and obey God. So... Does anyone remind, can anyone remind me, um, what were one of the things that maybe was a little bit unfair for Gideon? Do you think the thing that happened with the soldiers, do you guys remember what happened with the soldiers? How many soldiers left the first time? Was it 20? No. Was it 200? No, right? It was 20,000 soldiers that left the first time. 20,000 soldiers left the first time, and then he ended up with 10,000. And then what happened again? The Lord told him it was too many again. So he ended up having 300 soldiers with him. So he went from like, who knows, like 30,000, 40,000 
to 300. You know, you can imagine that. You can imagine how sad and how disencouraged Gideon was. But Gideon decided to be thankful to the Lord and he decided to not complain. So, what is being thankful now that we talked about Gideon? Thankful is being being thankful is being grateful for the things, the big things and the small things that are around you and not complaining because God took something away or because maybe something disappeared or you know, not complaining but still being thankful. So let's say you were giving a toy, right? And maybe that wasn't the toy you were asking for. Being thankful means that you're not gonna complain to your mom, to your dad, to your grandma, to your tío, to your tía, but you're gonna say, you know what? Thank you so much. Even if you know that that wasn't the toy you were waiting for, that wasn't the toy or that wasn't the game, whatever you asked for and whatever they gave you, even if you know that wasn't the thing you asked for, being thankful means no complaining. So, and saying thank you for what you have given me. I really like it and I will enjoy it. That is what thankful is mean. So another example that Gideon was thankful to the Lord, it was the it was what we talked about yesterday. You guys remember the dream? How I told you Gideon heard this dream from one of the soldiers, one of the enemies, and then the soldiers were talking about how a big piece of bread just came over the camp and then boom and destroyed one of the tents you know Gideon when he heard that dream he could have been like you know that's a lie he could have been like mm, yeah I don't know about that like he could have crossed his arms and he could have said you know I don't I don't think that's something for me to be grateful for I don't think I should worship in this situation because I don't know if that's really real if that dream really means anything you know Gideon could have simply just placed the dream aside Gideon could have complained about so many things but Gideon decided and he chose to be thankful so one of the things I want to tell you guys today first thing is that being thankful is a choice so deciding to be thankful deciding to put a smile on your face instead of like putting a sad face on you is a decision you make every day so you can decide from the moment you wake up to be thankful and to put a smile on your face or you can decide to have like a very angry and mean look the moment you wake up you can decide that being thankful is a choice you can decide to be thankful when your mom serves you food and maybe it was not what you really were planning to eat today you can decide in that moment to smile and say Thank you for the food, mom. Or say, you know, mom, I don't like this food. Why are you making this every day? Because, you know, we have some of those days in the week where we repeat food a lot. So it is up to us to decide if we're thankful in those situations or we're going to become not thankful and we're just going to complain. First thing I want you guys to have in mind is being thankful is a choice. Second thing I want you guys to know is that when you are thankful, you show it to others. So same thing with worship. You guys remember when I told you worship was kind of like when you are worshiping, other people must be influenced and other people can feel it and they're led to worship. Same thing with thankfulness. When you are when you are thankful, other people want to be thankful as well. So when you go up to your mom and you say, hey mom, you know, thank you so much for all you do. Hey dad, thank you so much for all you do for me, for providing me clothes, for, for, for giving me shoes, for giving me toys, for giving me this house, whether who, whatever, whoever person you're living with, when you go up to them and you do that, you know, that person's gonna feel, you know, encouraged. That person, your mom, your dad, your aunt, your uncle, your grandma, your grandpa, your cousins, they're gonna feel encouraged and they're gonna say, you know what? Thank you for telling me this. This really encouraged me. So thankful is something that should spread. It's something that you should not keep to yourself, but you should give to others. So when you are thankful to God, you are thankful to others. That is what God teaches us. When you are thankful to God, you are thankful to others. It's kind of like, like, like this, like when it goes up, it goes sideways. So you must show your thankfulness to others. When you when you feel grateful, you know, whether it is maybe one of the, your teachers, you guys are having, what are you guys doing for school? Are you guys having Zoom calls? Maybe it's just email. Maybe they're just sending you the work. Maybe you're printing it out and working on it. You know, take the time of your day to write to your teachers a letter or write them an email. Even give them maybe a phone call and say, hey, teacher, you know what? I appreciate 
I appreciate so much what you're doing for me. I appreciate all your hard work for me. And I'm thankful to you today for sending me, you know, this homework and for allowing me to learn about things that I need in my life. That is a very simple way that you share your thankfulness to others and that you show your gratefulness. Another way, as I told you, is thanking your parents or those who you left with. Letting them know every day that you are thankful for their lives and what, for what they do for you. So I encourage you guys today, be thankful and choose to be thankful. Don't forget that being thankful is a choice and being thankful is something that you must show to others. I hope you guys have liked today's lessons and that you guys may remember how Gideon was thankful. Remember the craft we did on Monday and I told you guys that it may help you remind that it may remind you of the lessons that we learned about the whole week. So I hope that when you look at that little Gideon, that little Gideon toy we did, that you may remind yourself to be thankful. That you may, every time you see it, maybe, every, let's do this. Every time you see your Gideon craft, go up to someone, text someone, send someone a message, call someone from your family and tell them, hey, I am grateful because you are this and that for me. I encourage you guys to do that this week. I hope you guys have learned from today's lessons and that you may show your thankfulness to others. So before we leave, let's pray. So let's stretch, let's clap. And I encourage you, as I say every day, that after I pray, because I'll pray alone, after I pray, you take a short time, whether it is five minutes, two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds of your day and say thanks to God. So let's pray, let's close our eyes and let's say, dear God, thank you for this class. Thank you because you allowed us to learn what thankfulness is about. Help us be thankful each day and help us choose being thankful each day that we may encourage others through our thankfulness. In your name I pray, amen. So yes, I will see you guys tomorrow for Fun Friday. I hope you guys really have enjoyed all the lessons. And I'll see you guys. I miss you guys. And stay safe. Bye.